Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Game Boy games. So I was not an original adopter of the original Game Boy, just because back then I couldn't afford to get a Game Boy system at all, but I was always interested in it, and I loved playing my friends, especially my friend Daryl's. And even when I got onto the handheld market for Nintendo, I ended up picking up a Game Boy Color, but I didn't forget any of the old black and white Game Boy games. I actually went back and collected quite a few of them so that I could enjoy my Game Boy Color even more so. So this is just my short list of Game Boy Color games. I mean, not Game Boy Color. I meant original Game Boy games that I enjoy quite a bit. They are not presented in any particular order. So on with that. The first one is Battle Unit Zia, released 1990 by Jelko. And this is a side-scrolling shmup that is really a lot of fun. One of the more interesting things is you actually have to hold one of the buttons to gain elevation, which kind of lends it to be more like Flappy Bird, but instead of tapping, you're just holding it down. And it's really interesting to see this kind of mechanic used in a game like this. It's a really fun shmup. I, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. And I think you should try to check it out. I think you'll enjoy it as well. Next up we have Bomberman on the Game Boy, released 1994 by Hudson Soft. I've been a Bomberman fan and a Hudson Soft fan for a really long time. It began with, it began with my love for the TurboGrafx-16, and it's continued on to the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, all the various systems. I even plan on picking up the game on the Switch. It's just a really great series. I love all the, stra the strategy that you can have in the game and all of the tactical things that you can do, whether or not you pick up a certain power-up or if you ignore that power-up. Next up we have something I'm going to kind of cheat. It's going to be Kirby's Dream Land 1 and 2, both released by HAL Laboratory. The first one was released in 1992. The other one was released in 1995. Guys, the Kirby games are just a classic. There's a lot of fun to be had at the, with everything that is Kirby. You jump around through all of the worlds, collecting the power-ups. Again, there's some strategy there as well, just collecting the power-ups, deciding which ones that you need to keep, which ones that you need to get rid of. And it's really just a fun game. And I know that this is a really short list for the Game Boy games, but I have another video planned for Game Boy Color, which I consider a separate category. But again, this is just my preference on some of my favorite games from the original Game Boy. I know that you guys have some preferences for your Game Boy as well. Just let me know in the comments below what is your favorite Game Boy game. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.